All right, so this is um, going to be a video about how to actually design your cubes. And you're going to make two of these. Um, and then you'll end up uh, turning in two Flipgrid videos, one for one for each design. And then you'll have to you'll have to post that in Google Classroom. So to do this, uh, I'm going to recommend that you actually start in pencil so that you can come back and um, erase if you need to, because there'll be some things that you need to, you'll need to erase if it doesn't go well. So to start with, you're gonna cut, make a cutout of the, the print, print out from the classroom assignment, and you're gonna cut those out and you're gonna stack them on top of each other. And this is gonna be the cube, puzzle cube that you make. So it's uh, three by three by three. So there's actually uh, 27 cubes in there total, right? There's nine cubes, there's another nine cubes, and there's another nine cubes. And sometimes this this setup can get a little confusing to people because they're not sure about like, what is this cube? Well, these two are actually the same cube, okay? These two are different sides of the same cube. You just ha can't happen to see like the center side of the, the top cube. So I'm gonna show you uh, how to make your, your cubes going through um, and your, your puzzle going through. And just to let you know, there should be five puzzle pieces. So in the end, we should come up with five puzzle pieces. And the smallest puzzle piece has four cubes. And the largest puzzle piece will have five cubes. Okay. So I haven't made this puzzle up yet that we're going to make. I'm going to start a new one. And I actually like starting off with my smallest ones. And I make a bunch of small ones. And then I'll have open spots to fill in and attach to um, other puzzle pieces later on. So I'm going to start... Um, I'm going to start right here and I'm going to make this, oops, almost started with number four for some reason. I'm going to make this puzzle piece or cube a part of puzzle piece number one. So if this is number one, that means this also has to be number one because they are actually a part of the same cube. You got to imagine that this cube right here is one cube. This is not two different faces to two different cubes. This is, this and this are the same cube. Okay, and then I'm going to go down, and I'm going to go down one, and you you might make a, a different starting point, okay, and so if I make this one one, I've also got to make this one one, okay, so now I have two cubes for puzzle piece number one, so puzzle piece number one has two cubes, and then let's say I want to go, I want to actually include this puzzle piece down here. Well, if I decide to make this one one, so let's make this one one. It's actually got three faces that we can see. So I've just, that's one cube right there. That's all one cube. If I make this one one, you can see that this is attached to this through this face right here. Like this is, a, this cube is on top of this cube. It's attached. But if I go straight from here to here, it's only these two cubes are actually only attached by an edge and you can't do that. So you must include this one. And so now they are attached by faces. Okay, we, we don't wanna attach by edges, we wanna attach by faces. So now I have four pieces for puzzle piece number one. I'm gonna leave it. We're gonna leave number one for right now. We might come back and add this one or this one or depending on where we're at in our puzzle, but I'm gonna leave this at four. The reason I'm going to leave it at four is because I'd like to actually fit in all of my other puzzle pieces and then see what I'm left with and then attach what's left to other puzzle pieces. And you'll see what I'm talking about in the end. Okay, so puzzle piece number two is now what we're on. Um, maybe I want to start off here. So this will be puzzle piece number two. Okay. And then I can either go to this piece or I can go to this piece or I can do both. I can make that piece two. I can make this piece two, and then I need one more puzzle piece. Okay, if I put a two here, I'm actually making the same shape that I did here, and you can't have any duplicate shapes. Okay, so no duplicate shapes. And then, so one, two, three twos, and then I could go down two. Okay, so now I have one, two, three, and then I went down to four, okay? in my second row. So two is done for now. We're going to come back and fill it in later. And let's go to three. Let's say, let's go, um, let's go three, 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 
three, three. Okay, so that is on the top. Since this is three, this has to be three, and this has to be three. Remember, that's two different faces to the same cube. And so now I have four for three. Great. All right, so now I'm on uh, puzzle piece number four. So we've gotten one, two, three, and now we're in puzzle piece number four. So if we start with number four, I can't really make this one four, and I can't make this one four because I can't get to the center one with four. So uh, because it would have to be attached by an edge there. So I'm actually going to start off with four right here. So let's go four, four, four. And then we'll go down in the middle here, four. Oh, that should be three. Okay, awesome. So I have one, two, three, and then four. Okay, so all of my puzzle pieces right now have four cubes. They've all met the minimum requirement, okay? And so I have one more puzzle piece to, to add in there, and puzzle piece five. And I like, I like how I'm going through... Here. So let's go. Let's go five, 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 five. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay. So now I have four for five. So now I need to go back. I have I have all five of my puzzle cube pieces, right? But I'm missing. I obviously have open spots, and I can now go back and attach these two puzzle pieces that I already have right now um, and kind of fill in those spots. So I, for this one that's blank, I can either attach it to puzzle piece three or I can attach it to puzzle piece one. I think I'm going to attach it to puzzle piece one. I'm going to make, well, can I attach it to puzzle piece one? Yeah, let's attach it to one. Okay, so let's go one, one, one. Okay, so now I have one, two, three, four, five puzzle pieces for number one. I don't want to make this one one because then it wouldn't interlock. If I made this one one here, this would be one, two, three, four, five, six. That would be my, oh, wait, no, sorry. It should be largest has six cubes. Sorry about that. Glad we're fixing that. Okay, so largest has six cubes. So if I did six here, that's a really boring piece, and that's a really easy puzzle to, to make because it's actually just – uh, rectangular prism, right? So we don't want to put this as one. So our only other option here is actually to make this a three. Now your puzzle should be completely different from mine. It should not look like mine at all. All right. Um, so I'm actually done with, well, I'm not, I might not be done with puzzle piece one. I might be able to make a T over here later on, but let's see where we're at. So I have one, two, three, four, five puzzle pieces for number one. I have one, two, three, I have one, two, three, four, five pieces for number three. And then I have one, two, three, four for number two. And then for number four, I have one, two, three, four for number four. So let's see if we can give number two to this guy right here. So let's go two right there. So now I have one, two, three, four, five for number two. And then I have... See, four goes all the way down. So let's count four real quick. One, two, three, four. For four, why don't we make this four? That's a good puzzle piece going right up through the middle. Okay. And then, so I have one, two, three, four, five. And then three has one, two, three, four, five. And so I could give this one to three, or I could give it to two. One, two, three, four. Can I give it to two? I can. I actually like that one being two. So let's go two, two. And then I have, let's see, one, I have an L shape here. So one, two, three, four. Let's go five. And then one, two, one, two, three, four, five. I could make this one, I could make it three. I could make it five. I think five is a much more interesting puzzle piece. So I'm gonna make it a five. Okay, so now I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna count all my numbers, right? I'm gonna make sure that my puzzle piece, one, two, three, four, and five, they all have between four and six cubes. 
Okay, so I have puzzle piece number one. One, two, three, four, five cubes. So I'm going to say 5C. And then number two, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so 2 has 6 cubes. And then 3 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so 3 has 5 cubes. And then 4 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 cubes. And then number 5 has... One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cubes. Okay. So my cube, my puzzle is actually done now. So I don't have any that end up having four, but I do have five and six piece cubes. Um, so we need to make sure, we'll know we did this right. If we add this up and it should be 23. So that would be, or I'm sorry, uh, 27. So it would be 15 plus 12 is 27. Great. So you're almost done. Next up, you're going to color in your cubes, and this is going to be the color of your cubes for the rest of the project. I'm going to make one green. So I don't want them scribbled in. Okay, I want them actually fully colored in. Okay, so that'd be one. And then you have one down here, and then one down here, and one down here. Okay, and so number one is all colored in except for that one. Okay, so that's done, right? So there's my green piece. You can see it actually comes out to be this C shape. And then we're gonna put that away. And let's make two, let's say, I think that's a pink color. So I have two, one, two, three. We're gonna come down this way, two. Okay, I want them fully colored in. I don't want any scribbles in there. Make sure you fully color it in. So that's two. And then there's two right there. Okay, awesome. So two is done. Purple, I have three. So a lot of, I see a lot of kids just do this and that. That's not acceptable. No, I want to take your time, make it look good. This is going in your portfolio online. Make it look good, okay? So I've got three, three. Take your time, okay? Remember, you're designing this for a customer. A customer's actually trying to buy this. And they wanna see your design, right? They wanna see that you actually have designed this well. Okay, so some of you are going to try it, are going to color something wrong, or you're going to realize that you made a mistake. If you color it in and it's a mistake, sorry, you got to do the whole thing over again. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that's three. Hopefully I counted right. Hopefully I didn't make any mistakes here. And orange is four. Awesome. Four. Okay, and then, oh, forgot three there. Okay, let's go back and grab purple. Okay. If you miss coloring a square in or you don't color it in right, I'm gonna make you submit it again. So do it right the first time, otherwise you'll be doing it twice. And nobody likes having to do things two or three times. And then our last one is five. I'm just gonna make that one yellow. Great. So you need to do, if you did this one in your notebook um, with your, uh, if you did this design in your notebook, this cannot count as one of your designs. So you'll have to cut out another piece of paper and you need to do two of your own. Your design should be different than mine, should not be the same. This is just an example of how to actually go through it. Okay. So first off, start with things that are four, right? Just start off with making puzzle pieces, four pieces at one time and then come back through after you have all five of your pieces in there at four and then fill in the blanks, all right? Once you get this far and once you have your cue ball colored in, you're gonna take a Flipgrid video of this section. So this is what your Flipgrid's gonna look like. You're gonna take 30 seconds and you're gonna go, you're gonna flip it up and you're gonna flip it down. You're gonna go one, two, three, 
And you're going to do three on each one. One, two, three. And that tells me you're going to flip through it a couple of times slowly so that I can go back through and look at how your numbers are connected and make sure that your puzzle piece looks good. Okay, so if you have questions in class, obviously ask me in class, um, but give it, give it your first shot. Set it, this is how you set it up, and um, I look forward to seeing what you guys make. Thank you for listening.